In 1919, observations of the deflection of starlight proved his theory and made Einstein a superstar. And so scientists turned their attention to measuring the effects of general relativity. One of the weirdest of these experiments was undertaken by Joseph Haffel and Richard Keating in 1971. Their equipment was a series of very accurate cesium clocks and a set of jet plane journeys that completely encircled the Earth. Some of the clocks then headed off on a plane, some heading to the east and others to the west, some moving with the Earth's rotation, others against it. And because they were flying, they were in a different gravitational field to the clocks left behind. After they had circled the world twice, they were all brought together. If the universe was governed by Newton's absolute time, they should all have remained in sync. But if Einstein was correct, relative motions and space-time curvature should have desynced them. They differed by a few hundred nanoseconds. Einstein was declared the winner.